Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the settings for waypoints in Smart AI. So, waypoints are what allow you to set a specific path for your AI to move to. Um, so, we're going to start by selecting one of our AI here. Select the um, AI component and we're going to search for waypoint. And we'll start with our waypoint animations. So if use waypoint and animations is true, um, the AI will use these animations set out here. If false, the AI will just use the default animations. So as you, as you can see, they're disabled by default, but if you wanted specific waypoint animations, you can just enable it here and set them in here. Next, we've got our waypoint uh, options. So, um, by default, it's set to in order, um, or you can have it random, and that will just control uh, what order the waypoints it has set to. Um, it will go to these. So next is loop waypoints. So um, once the AI is finished, is is uh, um, going through all of the waypoints, whether or not it then loops again from the start. Or we have um, reverse loop waypoint, which is good for something like this. So our AI will travel like this. Um, if loop waypoints is on, he'll then walk over to the first one again and begin the um, path again. Um, but if loop reverse waypoints is enabled, once he gets to the last waypoint, he'll then reverse through those um, points and get back to his starting location. So that's the difference between these two settings. We have our waypoints array, and this is just an array of the waypoints that the AI will go to. So if we wanted to add another one, we could just do that. And we can hit the pick actor, and say we wanted to add this guy, we could do that. And now our AI will move from this waypoint over, around, around, around here, and then over to here. And then we have the waypoint reaction settings. I have a separate video on reaction settings that you should check out if you want to um, know more about that. But that's pretty much all the settings for waypoints within the AI. Um, then we have some settings actually on the waypoint themselves. So if I select one, uh, I'm just going to clear this. We have a few settings here. So we have a wait time. This is once the AI arrives at the location, how long he'll wait there. Um, and wait time deviation, so adds or minuses to give some randomization to the wait time. Uh, we have waypoint montages and the animation order, so we can have the AI once he's arrived at the waypoint play um, animations. We can either have them play in order of the array or in a random order. Um, loop, so for example if our wait time is very long and we run out of animations to play, if loop animations is enabled, he'll then start again and start playing the animations over again. Um, rotate to face direction. Um, so for example, if our waypoint faces this direction, once our AI gets there, um, if this is enabled, he'll turn and face the direction of the arrow. Um, then we have some debug settings, so we can just hide the rotation arrow if you want to. Um, we can have the AI change behavior when he gets to a waypoint. Um, keep in mind that if you do this, obviously he's not going to continue on his path anymore um, because he's gone into a different behavior. Um, so we can have we can enable that. We can set the new behavior. We can set whether it's temporary, a temporary behavior, and how long it will be in that behavior. And then we've got another uh, debug setting which is just showing game. So if this is true, you'll be able to see these waypoints in your game while you're play testing. And that's about it. So that's everything to do with waypoints. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching.